Hello everyone, my name is Olivia Wolf and I'm the program director at the Finley YMCA. Today for our activity, I am going to be reading the book called Pete the Cat and the Cool Caterpillar. After we finish reading the book, then we are going to make our very own caterpillar craft to go with the book. Again, this book is called Pete the Cat and the Cool Caterpillar. Pete is on a bug safari. He and his friends are looking for bugs. How many bugs can they find? Callie spots a tiny black ant. It's building an ant hill, she says. Groovy, says Pete. Gus finds a round red ladybug in the mint patch. It has nine spots, says Gus. Nice, says Pete. Marty sees a big black spider. It caught a fly, he says. Neat, says Pete. Pete finds a green caterpillar in the flower pot. I will bring it home to show mom and dad, he says. Mom helps build Pete a home for the caterpillar. They use a big jar. Dad puts lots of little holes in the lid for air. Pete puts the caterpillar in the jar. Pete puts some leaves in the jar for the caterpillar to eat. He adds a twig for it to crawl on. Good night, Pete, says Mom. Good night, Pete, says Dad. Good night, caterpillar, says Pete. When Pete wakes up, the caterpillar is gone. Where did it go? Did it run away? It's not gone, says Mom. It did not run away, says Dad. Look, they say. The caterpillar is inside there, says Mom. It's called a pupa. Will it stay in there forever, Pete asks. No, says Dad, the caterpillar is changing into something new. What will it become, Pete asks. It's a surprise, says Mom. We must wait and see. Pete waits. Callie comes to visit. Did it come out yet? She asks. Not yet, says Pete. Pete waits some more. Gus comes to visit. Did it come out yet? He asks. Not yet, says Pete. Pete waits even longer. Marty comes to visit. Did it come out yet? He asks. Not yet, sighs Pete. Pete waits and waits and waits. Then, one day, something finally happens. The pupa starts to wiggle. Something is happening, says Pete. It wiggles some more. Everyone comes over to watch. The pupa cracks open. Something is coming out. What can it be? A head pokes out, then some legs, and then two colorful wings. The caterpillar changed into a beautiful butterfly. Wow, says Pete. The butterfly slowly moves its wings up and down. It's ready to fly. They take their jar to the park. Time to say goodbye, says Dad. Pete opens the lid of the jar. The butterfly flaps its wings. It flutters out of the jar and lands on Pete's nose. That tickles, he says. Then the butterfly flies up into the sky. Bye-bye, butterfly, everyone says. Let's find a new caterpillar, says Pete. Change is pretty cool. And that is the end of our book. Now that we've finished our book, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own caterpillar craft at home. For this craft, what you are going to do is you are going to make your very own caterpillar. And what you can do with this caterpillar is you can have little caterpillar races with it. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. So you will have your caterpillar sit on the table like this. And then what you'll do is you'll have a straw and you're gonna blow some air onto the caterpillar.
and then he moves across the table. This is a really easy craft that you can do at home and you can turn it into a game where you have your caterpillars race across the table. Before we begin making our caterpillar, I will name off everything that you will need for this craft. You will need paper, a glue stick, a straw, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. So to begin making our caterpillar, what we are going to need to do is we are going to need to get a piece of paper and we are going to want to cut on that piece of paper a rectangle shape about the size of this caterpillar. It doesn't really matter if your rectangle is the same exact length as this caterpillar here. You will just want a rectangle on your sheet of paper that you can cut out after it's drawn on. You can freehand this part, but if you also have a ruler or some other straight edge at home, you can use that as well to help you draw your rectangle. So as you can see here, I have my rectangle drawn onto my sheet of paper. I'm going to use my scissors to cut that out now. Now that I have my rectangle out, the next thing I'm going to do is you are going to want to draw a line right down the middle, or as much down the middle evenly as you can. And then once you have that line drawn, you're going to fold in these ends of the paper to that line. As you can see, I have my line drawn here in the middle. Now I'm going to take both ends of those pieces of paper and fold them into the middle like this. Next, you're going to fold these in half again, where you bring this end to the middle once again. After you have your ends folded in again for that second time, the last thing you will do is fold it in half like this. Once you have your piece of paper folded like this, the next thing you will do is you're going to take your pencil and you are going to draw a half circle on each corner here. After you have your half circles drawn onto each corner, you are going to take your scissors and you're going to cut along those lines so that you can round out these corners. So you're essentially cutting off each corner on this piece of paper. Once you have the corners all cut off, this is how your sheet of paper should look. After you have your piece of paper unraveled, it should look something like this. You can add any sort of decorations that you would like to your caterpillar. As you can see, I have added some googly eyes to this one. Now it is time to test out our caterpillar. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned to our Facebook page for more videos.